a big cliche g'day folks and welcome to well skyblock kind of skyblock it's telebrex ultimate skyblock episode one yay if you haven't guessed because there's like ooh, i keep doing that um because there's nothing going on around uh i don't know if you guys have never played skyblock before but uh, basically the idea is you get started off with limited resources and you have to survive but here at telebrex ultimate skyblock survival uh, it's survival with a difference. Let me just collect what I can from the chest because I may as well start uh, while I'm talking to you. Um, and I'm going to start by getting rid of this tree and hoping, fingers crossed, for some saplings. Um, let's hope. So yes, here on Telebrax Ultimate Skyblock Server, uh, it is um, a Skyblock Server with a difference because the challenges are all integrated into the menu, which makes things so much easier, so much easier. I'm just wondering, look above, we've got some spruce leaf and we've got some oak leaf, so I wonder if it's um, like a lucky, lucky di dip, lucky dip kind of thing as to what... Um, what sapling I get if I get one. If I don't get one, it's not the end of the world and I'll, I'll go into that um, if this happens. So, um, cobblestone generator first and foremost. Let's do this thing. So yes, Talibrax Ultimate Skyblock Survival. I've been playing this for a couple of days now. You can see that I've got, well, 8 XP because I have been doing bits and pieces. Uh, but the staff, the lovely staff here, um, have kindly allowed me to reset my island and they've reset my challenges for me also um, so I'm actually able to start this from scratch and show you guys what the business is let me just see how much of this I can dig out without falling to my death great icky death first and foremost cobblestone generator so let me just show you with the slash C challenges menu See, it's all integrated in the menu. So here we go, rank easy. We've got cobblestone generator. We've got the apple collector, wheat farmer, cactus farmer, sugar farmer, melon farmer, pump, 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 pumpkin farmer, and the novice builder. Yay! So cobblestone generator, you can see there, you need to collect 64 cobblestone. When you've done that, you click on that challenge. It'll give you your reward automatically. Like Everything's totally auto here. It's, um, it's really, really well done. And this is the only server, as far as I know, where this is available like this. Okay, I'm gonna dig myself into a hole, aren't I? Yay, bedrock. There's the bedrock. Okay, I should still be able to get up here. And then here. Ooh, close. Close. Let me just put that back because that doesn't make me feel very comfortable at all. Look at that. Look at that. Look what's going on there. Alright, now I'm just gonna fill the top in because. I don't need all this dirt just yet, but let's do ourselves a cobblestone generator. King of Enders has completed the expert farmer challenge. Fantastic. It's one thing I really do love about this server as well is the community. It's very, um, very close community network. There we go. One, two, and then... <gasps> no! Oh, that was close. Uh, let's just put some dirt there. And you know what? I don't mind the idea. Uh, nah, let's just lock that in. <laughs> I derped a bit too early, didn't I? So, oh, it was already there. Okie dokie. Now we want the water to flow down there. Boom. And we want the lava to go there. Boom. And we have cobble. And I haven't got a sapling yet, have I? Nothing's dropped. Nothing's dropped. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, let me just get some sugar cane going there too, because we may as well. Um, right, so seeing as this is going to be how I thought it might, uh, because the community here is so close, um, and also the availability of shops, they do have chest shop plug-in on this server as well. You can actually buy stuff. There's really not going to be any sapphires, is there? <gasps> oh, you cheeky bugger. Oh, I can't show you. I'll show you in one of the upcoming um, episodes then that uh, people have started their shops on the server, so you are actually able to buy stuff. Um, no, I want that. Every block of dirt at this point is very, very important. And I did get different wood. I thought so. Okay. I don't need that yet. Sand. I could put one in. Pumpkin. I could, I'll just wait until I've at least got a tool. 
let's move along. Beautiful crafting bench. Um, you can go there because I said so. And first and foremost, we are going to need a pickaxe. Let's get this business started. There it goes. 51 cobble from that one wooden pickaxe. Now our tree hasn't uh, grown up yet. Uh, so what to do, what to do, what to do, because I really do need some wood. Uh, first things first, I believe, I've got my sticks on me, is just to make a few more uh, cobblestone tools. So I definitely will need, well, I'm going to end up needing like 50,000 cobblestone pickaxes. Uh, but just to start, let's get a hoe in here, because I want my pumpkins, uh, my pumpkin and melons. Uh, actually, I will need two picks. This is probably more logical than anything else because at this point I won't get any mobs spawning here at all um, so let's chuck that there and there do I have them on me no of course I don't that one and that one obviously melon seeds let's get melons over there let's get pumpkins there fantastic first thing I would love would be for a um skelly to just pop in my face and like just say here you go have, have my leg bone you have that you turn that into bone meal and you make yourself a tree because carrot, I like you and I think you deserve it. Uh, but that's not going to happen. So I'm going to need a buttload more cobble. Um, as I mentioned before, I did actually start a skyblock here on Telebrack Skyblock, uh, Ultimate Skyblock server. Uh, I've been on here since Sunday for me, which is just ticking over to Saturday now. So it's almost six days. And I had some pretty decent levels. I was going hard yakker at the... Uh, that's such an Aussieism, isn't it? Um, I was going, I was going pretty heavy duty uh, at um, spending time on here and everything like that. So I had a really good-looking island, but my main issue with it was it wasn't planned out very well. It looked really good and like, oh good, yep, yeah, you get, you get moist, you get moist over there. Um, and it had everything it needed, and I actually had even started building uh, a shop because I've been to the nether, so yeah, I had I had a lot of stuff going on, but it just was, it looked ugly, you know guys, it looked ugly. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, mainly starting out, especially to do with building my house, is I'm actually going to look for legit, real life, IRL, uh, house plans, perhaps even mansion plans to start building something, and um, I haven't found them yet, but I reckon by the time I post this video, I would have found something and it looks something like this. So there you go guys, that's the plans I've got for my house at least. Uh, this is definitely going to be leveled. Um, it's um, I, I'm going to have a lot of fun here. I actually invite you guys as well, if I'm not doing the skyblock uh, survival, on the server here there's a million and one other things that you can do from PvP arenas, there's event arenas and such. There's also dungeons. These dungeons are all um, been made by the staff and friends here at the Ultimate Skyblock Survival server. I thought I was going to get that one there. Um, of which, if you guys backtrack uh, a couple of days from the upload of this video, there'll be a library dungeon showcase uh, on my channel which is the first dungeon that most people go through on the server because it is the mobless dungeon it's the library dungeon there so that's a good example of, uh, of the work that these guys have done to go into this server all right i've just grabbed my dirt out of my chest here i'm just going to expand this area so i might bring the sapling over away from the chest to see if i have any better luck uh, having that grow. Then what I'll do with you guys is I'm actually going to show you, let's get the corners on here, some of the other features that are offered here at the Skybox Survival, uh, mostly to do with, dang that was 14, oh well, um, mostly to do with the menu, that should do there and let's just fist this out of the way. There we go. And I might ooh, not walk in lava. I might just stick that there. I prefer a, a flatter area anyway. Preference. All right, that should have a little bit more luck. So let's have a quick look at the menu. You've seen the, the slash C, the challenge menu. 
The other one I want to show you here is slash is. This brings up your island menu. So when you're around in a server, you can do this slash is and then just do a quick return home. And as I'm about to, oh, this is the uh, the challenges. So instead of slash c, you can do this. Current level, my current island level is zero. So let's do this for the first time. My island level is three. Yay! That's not too shabby. Um, I only have myself on my island. I am going to just play this one solo. Uh, the island biome. Now, when you buy perks and you rank up, etc., that's when things like changing the island biome is available to you. Uh, so that one's obviously not available to me. My island is, uh, the lock status is inactive at the moment. The warp is inactive as well. There's how you buy perks. So let's have a look at this. Look at this. So this is, it's a total menu um, integration. Like, interactive, that's the word I was looking for. Sticky fingers, I've been told, is a really, really important one to get. Um, as I learnt earlier today, as a matter of fact, I lost a whole heap of business in the nether, so I wasn't too happy about that. So let's just have a look at the, uh, the last few things here. Now we've got the warp location there. We also have donor perks and help if you need help with the island. Uh, and I'm just going to, there we go, my warp will be right here, actually. Yes, because I don't want it to be too close to the lava in case it uh, kind of block glitches and... Oh no, I'm landing in lava! Ah. So I haven't quite gotten through this pickaxe yet. I've, uh, I've gone through and broken the wooden one. This is my first cobblestone one. Uh, but I haven't done too badly in the old collecty of the cobblestone. So let's have a look at this. See, I've got 64 there. Slash C to bring up your challenges. First challenge here. It will steal that cobble off of you, but... Cha-ching! You get leather as a reward. Whoopsie. Don't do that. Let's, uh, let me just get that one out of the way. So yeah, it's as easy as that. All interactive. So there you go, folks. Not too much of a shabby start to episode one of Telebrex Ultimate Skyblock Survival Series. Yay! Um, <laughs> any comments, stick them down in the, uh, in the comments section below for me. Don't forget to leave a like uh, because it really does help. It shows me. Oh, look at the sugar cane. See, as soon as I say that, the sugar cane starts growing. Get your butts here onto Telebrax Ultimate Skyblock Survival. And last but not least, folks, say good day to your neighbour.